The small yellow brick building, that's the old Billingsgate Fish Market. Uh, one of London's many markets, fish was sold on this site for nearly a thousand years. The tradition was broken in 1982 when they moved to a larger building that's further down the buildings just behind this small church there is a tall stone column with a golden flame on top and that is Sir Christopher Wren's monument
that you love. Well, you could always kiss your husband or your wife. Any single ladies that don't have anyone to kiss, you can always come and give me a kiss. Is a very wealthy company. The building with the steep green roof is the old city of London School for Boys, one of the first schools ever built in the city. Its history goes back more than 500 years. There are four statues on the face of the building, and they're four of our better known scholars. From left to right, you can see Francis Bacon, William Shakespeare, John Milton and Sir Isaac Newton. And the Redford building that looks like a church is Sion College and Library. Completed in the early 1600s, this building was built to be a meeting place for all the clergymen of England, the Anglican Church. Here on your left you can see a very nice example of an old Victorian wall, which like the
right back to the essence of being in love. So how do you think it is? How should we? Shall we give it a little go? Shall we? You might have to make some noise. People don't always wave back. There are some right miserable gits here in London. So you might have to make a little bit of noise. Pick someone out and see if you can get it away. Is anybody waving? Oh, they are. Oh, that's good. I am. So if anybody waves back, we will give you seven years of bad luck. <laughs> so of course, I'm only joking. It is said to bring you good luck. And it does tend to stop people throwing things at the boat. And there is a bridge on this side. The Parliament building on this site for more than 500 years. The present building was opened in 1852 by Queen Victoria and the large Square Tower at the far end of the building, the one in the distance, is the Victoria Tower. At this end of the building, the tall clock tower, is the St Stephen's Clock Tower. Now, it's more commonly known all around the world as Big Ben. But Big Ben is the name of the 13 and a half ton bell that strikes the hours. The hour bell is Big Ben. Now, you're going to hear that very shortly. Before you do, you will hear the Westminster chimes. They can be heard every 15 minutes and they do play a little bit of a tune. A quarter past you hear the first quarter of the tune, the first four bells. Then at half past you hear half of it, quarter two, three quarters, and then on the hour before Big Ben strikes, you hear the full tune in its entirety. Big Ben. 